Okay, I have a Guzmania pup here. It's almost a year old. It's not quite ready to bloom, but you can show us what to do to make them bloom when they're old enough and still not blooming. Right, if you've got a bromeliad that you've had around the house for a year and a half, maybe two years, it hasn't begun to bloom, uh, there is a trick that you can, can use to get it to bloom. And what we're gonna do is give this plant an ethylene gas treatment. Uh, ethylene gas can easily be produced by rotting fruit or decomposing fruit. And in this particular case, we're gonna use an apple. That works. A plastic bag and the guzmania that you have. Okay. Uh, what you wanna do is fill the bag with air. And that's relatively easy. You put the guzmania inside the bag. Slip it right in slip there. Slip it right in there and take your apple and I like to cut mine up because it produces just a little bit more ethylene with more of the uh, fruit exposed to the air. A uh, good size apple will give you six or eight pieces and just go ahead and chop it up inside. And then as they rot, the gas gets released. And the gas is formed as, as the decomposition begins. Uh, so what you want to do is uh, get a little air in here and if you need to, you can blow it up a little bit like a little balloon, go ahead and either tie it off with a twist them. Uh, today we'll just go ahead and, and knot the top. Uh, the gas treatment should last somewhere between 48 and 72 hours, and you can leave the plant in its normal place. Uh, if you leave it in bright sunlight, the ethylene gas is going to be formed a little bit more quickly. Uh, if it's in an area of not so much light, it uh, will produce a little bit slowly. But again, 48 to 72 hours, uh, that gas triggers the flowering process, and a short time after this, uh, uh, three, four, or five weeks, you should actually begin to see the blooming process. After the 72 hours, of course, you want to take the bag off and throw the fruit away right. and go ahead and give the plant its normal... Uh, Light and water and everything. Right. It's, it's normal care after that. Uh, the, uh, the ethylene process should go ahead and begin the flowering for you. Great. And just one other thing real quick I wanted to show you. Some of you may have a bromeliad in your house and not even know it. And what's that, Wally? Is our Pineapple. Pineapple. Uh, this <laughs> is the most common bromeliad, and this is one of the bromeliads that actually produces a fruit uh, that, that we can eat. So bromeliads are not only pretty to look at, but they also are uh, a food for indigen or indigenous people in the rainforest. Yeah. And all you have to do is cut the top off and let it dry for 24 hours, like I've done with this one. And you can peel off some of the bottom leaves. If you look at this one, it's even got roots already started. And then after you do that, all you do is set it in a jar of water till it gets, oh, I'd say a couple inches in roots on it, and then pot it up in a pot, put it in a sunny window, mist it occasionally. They love that. And you've got a pineapple growing in your house. Thanks so much for all your time, Wally. It was my pleasure, Liz. I enjoy working okay. with you. I enjoy working with you. Thanks again. Okay. And we'll see you next time, huh? Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>